a stage in your life that you cannot change the situation. <coughs> when we cannot change the situation, we have to change ourselves. When a friend jokingly asked me one day, what if you ate McDonald's all day and actually lost weight? We both laughed about this, but then a spark blew up in my mind. What if I were to not only eat McDonald's, but all sorts of typical junky fast food like burgers, burritos, fried chicken, and soda for a month and actually did lose weight? Could it happen? If I do get fat and raise my risk of a heart attack, well, that would be nothing new to us. But what if, just what if that didn't happen? What would this reveal about what we've been told all our lives about bad food, diets, cholesterol, trans fats, heart attacks? I had to just give it a shot and I was willing to take the risk on my body to get some answers. I chose to eat nothing but fast food for a month, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and see if I could actually lose inches of belly fat off my waist. The results were a little surprising. Since I had no health insurance at the time, I had to find a cheap way to get my initial blood work. But the site says you can't be from New Jersey. So I just made believe like I was from Pennsylvania. We are so obsessed with food, yet we are still the most obese nation. The French, they eat bread, right? Yeah. What happened over here? And when butter. And butter. Yeah. And they're a slim nation. Over here, Atkins came out. The bakery, they said that the, the research statistics show the pastry industry almost went out of business in America because of the Atkins diet. And we will stop eating carbs. Yeah. And we're still fat, and the French are still skinny, and they're still eating bread, and they'll never stop their bread. Two women in front of me. There's one that's, like I said, she looks very slim, she has a nice vibe. Another one, she's, she does, she's not heavy, but like a little chubby, you know? This skinny girl, all of a sudden, goes and grabs, you know, this goes and grabs a Coke. She's there, chilling, she made her sandwich, she made her salad, she made her pasta, and she has her Coke can right there. She finishes her Coke, she puts it on the side, she goes up, and I'm like, what is she doing? She goes and grabs a Sprite. This chubby girl goes and gets her Diet Coke, and is drinking the Diet Coke. Something is wrong. Anything that is mentioned about food, the U.S. gets like, it's like a baby. You say eggs are bad, people go crazy. Eggs are good all of a sudden. Then it's not the eggs, it's only the egg whites that are good and the egg yolks are bad. It keeps flipping. The people go crazy. Yeah. Perry, Pennsylvania, it says Eastern, it's Eastern Philadelphia. Eastern. Do you give your body time to digest? It's a big difference when you're going to eat it like, you know, 7 o'clock p.m. And when you eat it 11 or 12 a.m., you're going to digest that food while you're sleeping. Mm. You, you are destroying your body. All your organs, they want to sleep too. But if you keep like thinking about food in a bad way, you will start gaining weight. Can I shoot you inside the bathroom? Everybody enjoying the coffee and the, and the relaxation. When you go to New York, like it's rush, you have no idea. Yeah, I mean you have to. You know, In New York is totally different. Like people are really stressing out over but there. But isn't that part of the experience? You know, like people talk a lot about Dunkin' Donuts and getting away from donuts and all that stuff. I mean, isn't that part of life and part of the experience? Yeah, of hold that cup. My wife, for example, we should see. We got a cup of coffee. I have to get my own because she has to. Because if we get one and we share it, it's so hard for her to pass that cup to me. It's something about holding it and leaving it on her lap. Yeah. And just holding that cup. And yeah. then sipping it and putting it down. But isn't that part of the enjoyment of coffee? Enjoying exactly. Expo- you know, people are there talking, they're chatting, they're enjoying their coffee. And that's what it should be like. I can't believe this is a McDonald's. Now, this is a McDonald's in Pennsylvania. It only could look like this in Pennsylvania. Because <laughs> we've never seen a McDonald's like this anywhere. Who's that guy up there? I don't know. How's that McDonald's? Wow, it's not even an M, it's half an M. You know what? It's the old logo in the 40s and the 50s. Wow. Yeah, that's the old one. That's the original one. 
if I if anything happens, I'm gonna leave home. I'm gonna leave you something in my uh, my will. Yeah. What do you want? The iPhone and the iMac. And my iMac. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. I don't even want to give that away when I die. I just wanted to sit. I just gotta sit and no one gotta touch. You wanna get buried with that shit like? Buried with the iMac. Like Egyptian pharaoh. <laughs> you want the car? iPhone on the car. No, well, that, that, that car is gonna give me trouble. <laughs> There's a fake insurance. Oh. You don't want to get caught. What did you get me? Cause I passed out after blood test. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> you have like orange or carrot. Why do I need carrots? Can you tell me, please? Cause you need vitamin K. You need vitamins A and C. Is that real vitamins? It's real vitamins. You're the only people here in the building. He's just yeah, moving. We're not taking pictures. I just bought this camera and just I'm fixing this with the lights. Why are you so paranoid? You're not gonna take like half a gallon from you. Yeah, that's what I told him actually. Yeah, well, look how sitting look, look like you're you gonna torture him in something. He's not the person in that position. Unless you go walk. It's all guys. It's all guys, huh? Makes you feel that you're having exorcism or something. Burger, Taco Bell burrito, Taco Bell hard taco. I think you should leave it for a while. Yeah, you think so? No, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. One of my friends, he was dying. He has a crazy flu. And he, he even uh, took like five pounds antibiotics and he was dead in the bed. I made him on the lamsuit. Very seconds he transformed to a different person. He was jumping. Okay, yeah. Alright. So Take out a really close shot of your belly button though. Yeah, we'll get the belly button. That's 41. Okay. 209.5, so let's see what we're gonna do. 30 more days, fast food diet. Let's see if we can bring this down. Why is creating the heat at this time? You know, as I'm walking here, I'm, there's a lot of cars passing by. You know, it's really amazing 
how much of a rush these people are in. I mean, I'm passing by here, they're zooming up. I mean, you know, there's a stop sign coming up and they're just like, whoo, going like 50, 60 miles per hour right into the stop sign. I mean, they're just in the rush and, you know, that's part of this, our problem, man. We're just, everyone's in a rush to get somewhere. All that causes stress. All that causing, causes anxiety. That doesn't help you lose weight. Well, I'm off to work now. It's about 7. Uh, 30. It really feels good to wake up early. I'm so refreshed. My first Dunkin' Donuts breakfast, um, it was really, really good. It was a multi-grain bagel with some cream cheese and a medium coffee. It was one of their value meals, if you want to call it that. Going to get um, the third meal. I'm going to get a Burger King. Um, we're going to get a double Whopper. Uh, double, no, not a uh, double cheeseburger. Look at that. and swimming pool a parfait for a buck yogurt with the crunchies with real strawberries and berries look at that mmm oh my god you know I'm, I'm, I'm completely filled I mean I'm totally filled and I mean, you can't ask for any more I'm enjoying my food I'm eating Anywhere, I'm eating anywhere and everywhere. I'm eating McDonald's, Taco Bell, Burger King, Dunkin', Dunkin Donuts, anything I want, you know. But I'm picking and choosing the things, you know, according to for number one, my enjoyment, my feelings. What do I want? What am I craving? That is life. People keep talking about the purpose of life and money and all that stuff. That was life to me. It was such a good feeling. Like I was like, that's what that's what people are missing. You know, that's what people are missing. You know. They think they're missing money and everything. No, you, you live, live, live life, get up. 6.20 a.m., gonna go for my uh, morning jog. I just went for a 20 minute jog. All I'm doing now, I'm just gonna walk for 10 more minutes. I'm going to have some uh, McDonald's breakfast here. I'm looking for some, some gear so I can wear when I go out. I, I don't want to stop my exercising just because, you know, uh, it's cold. So, you know, I'm looking for some gloves, some headgear, maybe some thermal socks and something to keep me to keep warm while I go out. I just got my stuff from Camp Moore. Uh, 100, about $104 worth of stuff. You know, it's stuff to keep me warm. I'm on my way to work right now. I'm a little late. These students, so... Uh, when I'm late, they make a big fuss. It's just crazy crowded, but um, right, this is what happens. Everybody's on the run, you know. What I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna stop at the Wendy's and relax. This is how long it takes for me to get to work. Two. Two. <laughs> it's 
It's about 6.20 a.m. I'm having my breakfast here and my taco from yesterday before I go for my walk outside. Let's see how it tastes. Like it's gotta be at least like 20, 20 degrees right now. It's ice on the cars. Well, here I am in the park walking. I don't know, maybe in 20 minutes or so. My eyes are just watering, but uh, feels really good. It's really, it's really quiet. It's, it's a good time to relax and think. You know, we should do this more often. We gotta get out, out in the world and live a little bit, you know. Feels I can't tell if it's my body heat now that I've been uh, working out or it really did get like a little warmer, but um, it feels a little warmer. Um, maybe the sun, because the sun's rising. It's 7.30, I'm gonna head yeah, out. Go to it's a little cold. I might do a wee workout later on. Ya no volveré a alcanzar um, las nubes. I just finished teaching my uh, morning class at Newark. I'm done. Gonna head out now. I gotta go grab some um, some lunch. Uh, should I do that or should I go to BK? I think I'm gonna save that for later. I'm gonna show this is the one. You gotta work your abs! <laughs> decide if I'm on Burger King or Taco Bell. I'm a little hungry right now. Let's see what they have. about seven look at these clouds Woo! I'm on my way uh, I'm going to uh, take a walk about 6 30 a.m. the clouds are amazing as you can see them behind me it's really it's windy but it's warm at it's about 65 degrees I don't know why park is right here to my left these are the times that are really gorgeous you come and you relax 7 a.m. and it's like warm, like a summer day. A burrito, taco, and drink. Sound of that water is 
it's so alleviating. So here everyone is, you know, heading to work and running, going where, I don't know, rushing to our deaths. And that's part of the problem. We don't we forget that enjoyment of life, which is relaxation, being healthy, the food, food as a joy of life. The sun is now like shining like crazy. Uh, as you can see over here, I think I'm Taco Bell again. I don't know why. It's like I'm thinking about it. Like, I had it last night, but I'm thinking about. I actually had it for breakfast too. Like pre-breakfast, and I'm thinking I'm gonna go have it again. Finished my uh, teaching my class. One of my students gave me um. This pretzel, I'm about to have dinner, so this is a good snack just to kind of keep me uh, awake. How is that? Mm, it's really good. It's just like Asian. It's something really Asian. Mm. That should be warmer though, but. <laughs> so, how often do you eat fast food? Every day. Every single day you eat fast food? Every day. No way. How can people say that if you get fast food, you're going to gain weight? Maybe it's when you eat food and you sit around all day. Just, I've been trying to get a little walk in. I had like a 30 minute uh, light, light walk, light jog, back in between jogging and walking, very light. I'm going to go have breakfast now at McDonald's probably. I'm gonna try something different. I already had steak, egg, and cheese. I'm gonna try uh, maybe some pancakes. Day five, I'm kind of in the mood for the steak, egg, and cheese. <laughs> but, you know, I kind of had it already, so I'm gonna try something else on the menu. I don't know, make pancakes or something. They have like pancakes in the grill or something like that. Big breakfast had pink with hot cakes, hot pancakes, syrup, ketchup, um, a biscuit, hash browns. Oh man, yeah, it, it was really big, really good, really tasty. Um, that was pretty darn good. That, that was a nice breakfast. Nikki D's. I gotta really find out what's on the other fast food uh, menus for breakfast. Well, I have to go take my car today to get an estimate because I, I forgot to tell you guys, but the day I went to get my blood work, someone sideswiped the, side, the driver's side of my car, and, um, you know, we had a police report and all that, and, you know, I need to get an estimate on the dent that's on the left. Little did I know that this front fender on the left side, the driver's side, was, um, he's telling me the estimate is about 2200 which is uh, pretty steep. I didn't think it would cost that much just to replace some metal, but I guess it is. I mean, anyway, I mean, if it's going to cost about that much, I might as well do it. I mean, what I don't get about these insurance companies is that if they are going to raise it, it doesn't make sense. I mean, I'm already paying, you know, I'm already paying my insurance so that I could be covered. When I do get into an accident, why should my insurance be raised? I mean, what am I paying for nothing then? I'm heading out to have a, probably a Burger King value meal at Burger King obviously either that or Subway I'm not sure I want something like really warm um, so I, you know I don't want to sit down and relax the Subway doesn't really have a um, seating arrangement so I'll go to the Burger King and uh, for the first day it's snowing for the first time actually and it's pretty amazing
Will licking certain toads get you high? Is 10% of the population gay? How the media is playing on myths and trying to make people think certain things through these myths. And when nutritionists want to say, eat less meat and restrict sugar, mm. intake as much as po- restrict sugar and take as much as possible. But industry wants to say, consume as much meat and sugar as you can, just exercise more, then the government has to get tricky with its language. So when the nutritionists, when the people want to tell the truth, and the media wants to say something else, the government has to play to make to combine both. There is plenty of health information out there for anyone who cares to look, but when it comes to food, the mind is willing, but the flesh is weak. Despite the advice of your doctor, or the promise of the heartburn and constipation to come, too many of us are springing for fast food. But with a 30-minute lunch break and five bucks in your pocket, who can blame you? You're not a nutritionist or a culinary critic. You're a hunter searching for easy prey and enough fuel to get you through the day. It's a war between uh, the government, corporation, and the media. So scaring people about to gain weight, you know, so that making people love fast food, scaring them of eating the fast food. Mm-hmm. You know, playing with them. Yeah, play with them. So this is how they make money. What? The issue is uh, fearing food or fast food or the, 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 the food that has saturated fat because the food is one of the joys of life. Not cars or machines, but just a few notes. It's a kind of something like the wine, you know? Mm-hmm. You want to smell it and shake it and taste it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. Same thing you gotta deal with, with the food like that, because we are human. Because food uh, creates a social life, creates love, stress, always releases the hormone of uh, gaining weight. And seriously, like before this, I could scarf down a value meal, grab the fries, with the soda mix, I'm taking the sandwich, I'm out, that's it. Yeah. I, don't even, I won't even sit. Yeah. I'll, I could do that in the car. But today, I sat down, I had a value, I had a Whopper meal, okay? Mm-hmm. As I train myself to sit, because now I'm forcing myself for the sake of the documentary to sit down. Like, I'm, that's part of the rules, that I want to sit down for like 20 minutes and enjoy the meal. Every time I go in that one, the fact that I'm inside already, something I, we're missing out a lot on fast food places that have places to sit and chat and, like, exactly. don't forget the drive through You're sitting down, man, they give you the, the free drinks, you're sitting there, you're relaxed, you're, people are talking and chatting, and I sat down with the vet with the Whopper meal, I'm eating slow, I was halfway through the Whopper. You are in the environment. I was halfway through the Whopper, and I was stuffed. I test myself. I said, okay. I, the other day, like, I, I, w- I was in the mood for TV. I was watching. It was quiet. I was like, oh, I haven't watched in a while. But I still had to eat. I sat on the TV. And I said, let me see. Like, maybe it's going to help because I'm going to sit down and join. No, but I realized that I'm eating and I'm not focusing. It's a matter of focus. It's not a matter of... It's the timing and it's the focus. It, the fact that... You're watching TV, you're distracted, you know, you're not focusing on, 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 on the food and the taste and, and, and then going into your system. You're my losing that. And position. when you lose that, yeah. the food is like not even fulfilling you. It's yeah. just, you, you end up being hungry, you know. Position, you, well, it was our team position, it was the dietitian too. And he told me one thing, he told me, do not eat in front, in front of the TV. Do not eat while you're standing and do not need while you're talking and you're having a conversation with the phone. And you told me this when I was a kid. I'm trying not to, like, I'm waiting to get to the food, like, it's where I can sit down. Like, even if I'm really hungry, I don't wanna, I don't wanna munch up something fast just because I'm hungry. I need to wait until I can relax and enjoy it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All these are wedgie day. Oh. Whatever.
Like, oh, that's pretty tough. I'm just trying. I'm just trying anything else. You know, just like a 30 minute workout. I just want to get my body moving and do something else. You know? I'm not sure. I was going to go try the Domino sandwiches, but I was going to order online. I found out the Domino sandwiches are now $5.99. They're like 6 bucks, and they used to be $4 for, uh, I think, on promotion when they first came out. That's way too much. $6 for those half sandwiches. I like a little bit, not too much. That's good. Oh, right there, I found it. So this, no, I mean, yeah, for <laughs> Someone yeah. said that, and they were like, you get free night free. You're complaining about the voice. <laughs> hmm? So I got two donuts. Like Did you eat dinner? <laughs> no, not yet. Why? There's nothing donuts, man. To me, I call it selfishness. That's how, I mean, that's how I call it. I mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm not judging anybody. I'm, I'm just saying high level, right? When we, we say things... Whatever, for whatever we think is legitimate, but we say things like, I don't want to have kids until I X, Y, Z, whatever it is, until I have a million dollars, until I finish yeah. college, until I finish whatever, until I get my doctor, until I do whatever. I mean, that's, so we, we have made, legitimate or not, it doesn't matter, I'm just saying, we have made more excuses than we have in the past about kids, about yeah. family and whatever. Yeah, but don't you think society has, has also developed so much, there's so much more that we have to deal with. So, back then they didn't have... You know, access to certain things that they didn't have so. to deal with. Yeah, like the mothers Society back from then, before, for example, had to didn't deal with have much more. As much they as just they looked at it much more simply. As much as now, mm. nowadays, because we just make we are made, we make it complex because no, we think we know so much. Exactly. And we now, know so now much you more can't live on one that income. we like we can't even move. We're frozen with yeah. fear. I don't. I'm not. I'm not innocent. I mean, in that argument, I would argue I'm selfish too. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody, saying, everybody. Today's society has changed that the excuses we make about kids, about marriage, about yeah. family. That's just the way. That's it is. true. Yeah. The first time we have a TV in sixty, maybe here it was like uh, forty-eight or forty-five something. Maybe early fifties a TV here. Yeah. So we have a, a TV. <laughs> Uh, what do they call it? Like uh, wooden, wooden TV. <laughs> yeah, and we cover it under this. Uh, <laughs> and we are very proud that we have TV. And all the family stay here and eat together. So we talk to this. But now we talk about Syria thing. Syria man, or next year Safiya have her phone or have her computer. She can go all around the world and you still hear, you don't know what, what's the man. He bit me before, like literally 10 minutes ago. <laughs> See him? He'll come, he came up. <laughs> Fifty percent all day of all the food, so I had to stack up a little bit. Okay. Lovely. Did you ever look at people's face while they're driving? If you pay attention, every single person that you're going to see is going to be sad and depressed and always thinking. You could tell that they're thinking about something stressful and like worried and anxious and. It's funny because since you said that, uh, I never paid attention, but I just did, and people look mad depressed. They're just like, <laughs> that's exactly how they look. Like they're they want to get home, they they're scared to go home, they're scared to make the next step, they're scared the car is gonna run out of gas, like all this crazy stuff like is going on through their head. It's just like Why you, you could see it. It's like you could see it when you look at them. It's like oh my god, like you have a lot of stress in your head. And what are you going to get right now? <laughs> I'm going to get a coffee to release my stress. <laughs> I just took four aspirins, by the way, and I need coffee still. <laughs> and this lady's not answering, of course. Hi, where'd you order? Yeah, hi. Can I have one medium hazelnut, please? Light and sweet.
you. What do you think? It's perfect. <laughs> I had to right away get a sip. <laughs> you started smiling, by the way. It's so nice and hot, too, sir. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> it's Damn. hot, too. Although stress is a very real threat to emotional and physical well-being, its impact depends not just on what happens to you, but on how you handle it. I really don't know how to manage stress in my life, but I one thing I try to do is calm myself down after TV or listen to music and see if I could get away from whatever is making me stress. First, I try to um, narrow down the problem and figure out what's causing me the stress, and then I try to fix it. And I take a moment out of day and I just say to myself and just think. Mm -hmm. That usually calms me down. And engage with the physical activities to keep my mind focused. You you feel like you want to do something, but you know that it's not really right, even socially or even consciously. So you're going to try to do something else that is socially acceptable. Why why do people procrastinate? According to the author here or the psychologist. Right. So how 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 does it protect your self-esteem if you procrastinate? While you may think that you don't have time to reduce the stress in your life, some simple challenges can often ease the pressure you're under and help you achieve your long-term goals. I was dying for a fish sandwich. I just ate it last summer. I was dying last summer. I was dying for a fish sandwich. I actually got on the highway during a rush hour. I had to cross the other side to get to the Wendy's. And I'm thinking, oh man, I'm gonna have that fish sandwich. I was so hungry, it was like rush hour after work. I drive and drive. I go make a U-turn, get back into the rush hour, finally get to the Wendy's. I walk inside. All I see is burgers and some chicken wraps. And I'm like, excuse me, do you have fish? No, we took that off the menu actually. Oh man, I was like craving fish. I feel I'm gonna go do this because we only have like a half hour left and they kick us out and yeah. they always like they send these subliminal messages when we're here. <laughs> they're always like hinting at us to like get the hell out, so and I really want my half hour. We paid for this over here, so I'm actually um I'm gonna go for a walk, like maybe for 45 minutes or so, to a half, you know, half hour to 45 minutes at the park locally next to me. It's a little cold today, but it, it got warmer now. I'm, you know, I'm okay. I'm bundled up here. I need to relax a little bit. I, need, I have some stuff on my mind that I really want to unleash. So I'm gonna go for a walk and hopefully I'll clear up my mind a little bit. I have a decision of picking two of these, Honey bun, a cheese danish, or? Or these two chocolate donuts. I, I, I can take two from them. Uh, I'm about to take the two danishes. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, it's McDonald's, so it's a really nice one. I'll be my big night guy, you know. I'm really hungry today. Uh, yeah. There was a girl that she used to eat McDonald's a lot and she gained a lot of weight and she was suing them for that. That's so the question is, is it when was right or wrong to sue them? There was it right or wrong to sue them? Well, what do you think? I think it was wrong because McDonald's has nothing to do with it. McDonald's, all right, McDonald's is making unhealthy food, but they're not forcing it down their throat. But you choose to go there. You choose to go there. Yourself, it's your right? choice. But, what? So you but, McDonald's works different because when people go to McDonald's, some people buy meals. People like us go to the dollar menu, dollar the chicken, but dollar the hamburger. Now, in the, all right, if you go to a different county, those people will buy a meal, and us, we will go to the dollar menu and buy a dollar chicken, a dollar hamburger. You know what I mean? Okay. So instead of we buying a meal, we buy two dollar mm -hmm. chickens. Okay. That's like one meal already, just the chicken, two fries. A meal brings one fry. All right, the dollar menu makes you fatter, and one meal won't get you no that fat. No, 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 no
but we are made with the same ingredients. Whether you buy small fries or a large fries, it doesn't matter. If, if, if I had my way, I would have ate a whole bunch of McDonald's too. But my parents didn't let me do that. Because they told me, you know what? Rice and beans. Rice and beans. This is McDonald's. This is Burger King. This is Wendy's. This is Checkers. Da -da -da -da. What's the biggest company right now in this world? McDonald's. What, what do more people, oversized people eat? McDonald's. What's, what's skinny people eat? McDonald's. Why? Because it, it's, that's just, it's like stock market, you know, marketing. It's all about business, you know, who sells the cheapest burger, who sells, who sells the most better <laughs> fries and everything. All right, yeah, Wendy do got some good fries, but do they taste as good as McDonald's? I'm only going to eat fast food, and I just want to eat a variety. Give me some, what, what would you recommend? Healthy variety, Wendy's. Wendy's. Healthy variety is one thing. It is tasty as it's McDonald's, but that's the most deadliest because, right, because it is tasty. That's yes. tasty it's means fat. They have too much salt. Everybody that knows how to cook knows that the tastiest foods have the fattiest yeah. ingredients. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they're people that can't contain themselves. Contain themselves. Because caramel. And then we eat like five. Can we eat like five caramels on the with a two twenty pieces you and a big pe and a big soda with a big fries. This is it, huh? Shoulder man. Be nice. And these chickens in the salad. If you ask your doctor on how to lose weight, what what would your doctor typically tell you? They, well, being I've been there, they usually tell me stop eating fast food and watch my like watch my portions and my sweet intake, like candies and cakes and donuts and stuff like that. And every nutritionist I've ever went to always told me to stop drinking soda. Usually, just like, all right, whenever I, I would try for a little while to listen to what they say, but my schedule, I do usually end up going to a fast food restaurant, getting something to eat. Barbecue sauce? No, I forgot. Shut up, are you serious? Oh my god. Mm. The cat wants them. That's good. Popeye's chicken. We're gonna enjoy it right here. I don't know why we got 11 pieces. I have no idea why, but the macaroni and cheese. <gasps> you got macaroni and cheese? How do you eat fried chicken without barbecue sauce? Kinsey, get down. Oh my god, look, he's sucking out. Look at him. One of them. He's sucking out. What if he's, a, he's, a, he's a, allergic to all of us? No, no, no. Stop, stop, stop. 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 Stop, Just went to the Starbucks right now. I uh, really needed something really sweet and nice and creamy. I just got a, um, a double cheeseburger at McDonald's. It was really good. So after, you know, it's been like three hours, I got a little hungry. So I got myself uh, one of these caramel, ma um, what is it called? Oh, it's a Frappuccino. I guess like one of the first times I had those, they're really, really good actually. Got one of these marshmallows thingies, what do they call them, Rice Krispie Treats, so I'm going to eat that, snack on that. Fuck, uh, eating girl, I want to be hype, <laughs> <laughs> like the grizzly bear, it's nice. But I want you to taste this right here. By the way, this is the secret of Arnold Schwarzenegger, by the way, he's the first one in 1976, that's serious? why he built up his muscles from that one, yeah, nobody know that. No way. Mm -hmm. The doctors were saying that cholesterol and um, that, is, that saturated fats are the cause of heart disease and cholesterol is the cause of heart disease is a big myth and the most bullshit and it was created by a doctor who made a hypothesis 
we should to get recognition in, 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 that, that it's false and it's all, there's no reason, nothing proves that. He reviewed all his records about heart disease and he found that some people had heart disease had high cholesterol and some people had low cholesterol. There was no link between cholesterol and heart disease. It was up in the air. Then, then he said like that guy he was from Harvard, they, lo they took away his tenure position. They, because of that reputation, you know, the industry got upset because they want to focus on the cholesterol. It's all connected to the money, all of the things of the money. Because they want to get people to eat the wheat, the wheat and the corn and the vegetable oil. So they're trying to attack the animal fat. So a lot of people, I, I know them, uh, they live in the desert and eating uh, lamb and goat in the morning. And they're over 75 years old. Over 75. It's about the environment. Anyway, the heart is it's, it's, it's an art machine. And it has a, 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 a expiration date. Sometimes it's too long, sometimes it's too short, sometimes in the middle. You cannot control that. Probably people just don't want to, don't want to die. You don't, don't want to die. Thousand Hitler die, Mussolini die, King James die, Jesus himself, they said, he, they saw him that half is die, but they still, they're not still, they're not going to believe that they will die. It's not going to happen to me. Here I am in the park, uh, I've been coming, you know, every day, I'm getting like uh, 30 minutes of a walk, it's not that bad, but it's sometimes it's like muggy or, or like a little rainy. See the lot over here, I don't know what's happening, but it really isn't that bad, uh, you know, it's a nice day, it's pretty warm actually, even though it's December, so I'm getting my walk in and then after this I'm probably going to go to get some uh, BK or Dunkin' Donuts, I still don't know. <laughs> There's something about the greasy McDonald's sandwiches. I don't know, double cheeseburgers and Burger King, they're just, they gotta be more, you know, greasy and soft, you know? They gotta, they gotta taste like, it has to taste like garbage, you know? That's what it has to taste like. That's, <laughs> that's what we want. Filling yourself up and fulfillment. Fulfillment, yes. Fulfillment is different than filling that's, yourself. That's a good word. I don't want that's you to fill word. yourself. You gotta fulfill yourself and to fulfill yourself, it means enjoying your food and and getting the satisfaction from the food. And uh, that has nothing to do with the fast food. That's a bad habit we picked up along the way in the U.S. And we have to change that bad habit. We have to enjoy our food. So when we have fast food, we have to enjoy it. Just like we would enjoy, we enjoy the fast food just like you would enjoy a Thanksgiving meal. When it's Thanksgiving time, you go with your family, you sit down, you socialize, and you enjoy the cutting of the turkey, you enjoy socializing as you cut and eat. Uh, same thing when you have McDonald's, same thing when you have Burger King, same thing when you have Taco Bell. And we really need to spend more time as we eat. We really need to spend time sitting down, eating, and enjoying. You can't just eat on the run all the time. So I think that, that the food is one of the joys of uh, life. It's a joy of life. And if you don't, when you get your food, if you don't sit down and eat it, there's a problem. Last day of uh, of classes for me to teach classes for the fall term, and uh, then we have our Christmas break. I'm gonna go try McDonald's because I think they have uh, some uh, sweetened tea and some unsweetened iced tea, and I like I like the tea. So I'm going a little early because I have to get to class at about two o'clock, and uh, but I'm gonna go a little early so I can actually sit down and relax and enjoy my meal and 
Whoa, 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 look at this. Going all the way around. Damn! I'm really, really stuffed. It was good. I mean, I must say, I think the BK sandwiches are a little more fulfilling. A lot of families, a lot of mothers and dads with their kids. Um, it's really interesting to see how people sit and enjoy their meals. And like I said, seeing several families and with little kids. Eating fast food, you know, makes you gain weight. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. It's not the fast food itself, it's the content in the fast food. That's Ooh. what makes you fast food? It does. It's the content inside. They use the same oils, not the same oils, refried food. Mm. Fried, fried. But then at the same time, they like. But it's good. It's not but it's delicious. At the same time, they give these large meals, super size. You got 20 nuggets, 55. Like I'm yes. Yeah. You can get a salad from fast food. Like yes, you like I thought they said you can have a whopper. You have a small size fry, and that's whopper. No. If I eat that one with Julia with no mayo, you make me want Big Mac meal right now. Extra Big Mac meal. Ooh, wait, extra, right? Well, I need a Taco Bell. That's my normal. When I eat, I go home and then I sit in front of the TV and that's how I enjoy my plate. I can't sit in the kitchen with nothing. Really? It depends because if you eat, you can eat the bad things, but if you, like, you don't do it every day, and if you're working out, working it off, you can burn it off. Oh, it depends, it depends your on your lifestyle. Because some people eat McDonald's every day and it works your right on off. It's fried food. Fried food. Oh, no, because I ate fried foods every day of my life growing up and my arteries are okay. We ate fried chicken every day growing up. I could go, I when I'm in the city and they got the calories, I don't care if it's like a thousand calories. I want it, I'm gonna get it. Sometimes most of us eat fast. Of course, we're in a rush, but we still do taste it. Because, you know, we eat hungry and stuff like that. So. How often do you eat fast food? Oh, man, every day. Oh, man. I, I usually eat it, like, without lying, like, two times a week. And now that I started school, it's like every day, two, three times a day. Because I don't even want to cook when two, I get home. Two, three times a day, you eat fast food. Yeah, but I eat it. Don't you eat it? And I get home and I just order Chinese food or pizza because by the time I get home I have to study, I don't want to go. Yeah. You want to give me 10 hours so I go to the Big Mac meal now? <laughs> <laughs> I'm really getting into Burger King. I don't know why, man. It's crazy. Double cheeseburger value meal, two seventy nine. Oh yeah. The double cheeseburger is a dollar by itself, and if you want the meal, it's two seventy. Oh. It's two seventy nine with fries and a drink. Oh my God, it's beautiful. You mean it? Yeah. 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 <laughs> what do you think? Whopper, I mean McDonald's or Burger King? Burger King. Burger King. How so often nice. do you go swimming? Every day. Actually, a lot of people didn't swim today. Yeah, you know, some of our best people. Oh, so you only did one thing? Yesterday I did the 200 and I got first, and today I did the 100 breast. You guys swim like three things, and normal me, but this is not a normal me. I can't look at this. 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 I can't I'm gonna make rice cake. 
I'm just gonna go have breakfast. See the Jackies up there. Too many burgers, too many burgers. Too many burgers. <laughs> I'm done with fast food, but I'm almost through. Got a few more days left. What's in? It's the ball. Seven days. This whole place you see is gonna be. Unbelievably packed. We're talking thousands, thousands, thousands of people. Right? You can't even enter until at nine. It's shut down all the side. And we're probably gonna come here. So what do you say? Actually, this is as big as um, Rockefeller. Yeah, Rockefeller. Kizzy Benzi. Kizzy Benzi. Kizzy Benzi. I'm about to do the pit workout because I just got back and I really need like an hour of doing something and you're going to see me. I'm just wearing the gloves because the pit is like kind of like shadow boxing, like throwing punches. really interesting there are a lot of old couples in there like sitting in like six I saw about five six old couples sitting around so all this stuff about you know it was like an old guy right in front of me enjoying his chicken sandwich you know really old I mean talking like the guy had to be at least 80 at least you know I'm going a little early because there's no park there's never any parking in Hoboken so uh, and I'm chewing five gum because whenever I get the munchies or Whenever I have these um, cravings, five gum works really well. Yeah, I'm after really seven, that's all my life right there. So I'm hobo, hobo land, Hoboken. One forty, almost two a.m. Exciting out, that's all. <laughs> good job! Good job! I have to bring back some food because it's Christmas Eve and tomorrow's Christmas, everything's gonna be closed. I called them and I'm really surprised they're open actually. <laughs> Christmas Eve, it's <laughs> it was really packed. I have a few more days left. Today is actually Christmas Eve, and uh, I went over to McDonald's thinking that there's not going to be a lot of people, but it was jam-packed. BK, Taco Bell, Mickey D's, and I'm talking families. I'm talking families with kids, skinny little kids. It's about how you enjoy the food, what you do with the food, when you eat, how much you eat, how, what's your connection, what's your relationship with the food. And I'm not talking about just exercising for exercising sake. I'm talking about getting out and enjoying life and, and nutrition. Exercise and food. So you need to bond and socialize when you're eating. And you need to bond and socialize when you're working out. And everything, both of those things, the exercise and the food, need to be done with joy. So you don't know whether you want <laughs> Baja Fresh with five guys. Burgers and fries. So, but you really wanted a burger. Why don't we go to Burger King if you really wanted a burger? We love Burger King, I don't get it. Wait, let's look at that bag. Oh my lord. <laughs> Looks like a really real burger. So they give you nuts too, huh? <laughs> this is not how we're supposed to eat by slow. Definitely one of the best 
burgers. So. I always give my husband the last bite. Really? Yeah, I always do. That's a lie. That's not a lie. I wasn't so happy about the money we spent for just a burger and fries. It turned out to be like about $12, $11. But um, I have to give him credit. The burger was definitely one of the best burgers I've tried. You're going to let it down, aren't you? <laughs> you got to just make sure everyone knows in the video. Christmas Eve garbage can shopping. <laughs> It's December actually, but it's still really nice out, as you can see. I mean, it was pretty bad, but the, you know, today the sun warmed up uh, all the snow and it's gone. Back on the trail. Way too much uh, mud for me. I have not seen that many heavy people. And the families that I saw out of this entire month. Not one of them were heavy. Not none of the kids, none of the parents. He said something in Asian to his father. Uh, his father was trying to bite into the uh, hash brown, and the kid was like, "No, no, no, yeah!" And his father was like trying to bite. He kept turning around, and then the kid snatched it from him and bit into it. With hash browns, egg and cheese, um, pancakes. There's just mud all over the floor. Just by observation, over the course of 30 days, noticing that socializing and eating together and eating slow and taking your time is a big deal when it comes to, you know, eating healthy. And I'm going to be putting together my journal and a book of all these observations I've seen along the way. And uh, I really thought it was pretty, pretty darn amazing. And I really, you know, I, I, I really have a new appreciation for our society and the industry, the food industry, and all that it goes through to serve this, you know, this society of hungry people in America. I think I'm the only one taking this trail right now, which I don't know why I'm doing, but I just had to go to the bathroom. I couldn't wait. So, oh God. Ah! Oh, that was bad. That was bad. Oh. Oh. Did I wash them off you? Alright, so that's that. They clean. I saw this guy, like, next to me. This older guy. And he had this big stack of coupons, you know? And he was looking through them. And the <laughs> he's showing him the, uh... The coupons from Burger King, and the kid's like, sir, those are Burger King coupons, we're McDonald's. And the guy was like, oh, and he just put them away, like, with, with, like, without, whoa! Oh, it happened again. It happened again. push-ups something to get my, my body going but I'm a little sick that's why I'm trying to I'm, have like some heavy breathing but um you know I'm almost recovering all I have is like a stuffed nose after the 30 days are finished are you gonna come back more I think I am that's the scary thing about it I thought I was gonna stop but I think I'm gonna come back That was so much better. Mm. I know. No, you still gotta wait for a result.
I just, you know, it's really about how you feel and what you do and how you live your life. And right now, I'm about to go ahead and some burger king while we're about to be good. Oh my god, you forget that egg sandwich that you made. You crazy? After my fast food, um, uh, crave. Ooh, my fast food. Diet. Now I got an egg sandwich for the first time. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this. This really should be a whopper right now, but it's nice Stop sandwich. it. <laughs> You know you miss it. <laughs> Holy shit. 38.5. Mona, Mona, come here. Thank you. 